Alright, so you want to make this color wipe transition. It's not too hard. Let me show you how. Alright, so first you want to have your clips remap before you start. Then you want to create an adjustment layer, move it over, and add tritone. Okay, so once you add your tritone, uh, set it to whatever color you want. For me, I'm going to do blue. Blend with the original. Go to about 10 frames on either side. Copy the 100 keyframe and move it 10 frames, about 10 frames on the other side as well. All right, once you add your tritone, you want to make another adjustment layer. Add dissolve, shake. Set the dissolve percentage to 25. Keyframe it right on the middle. And then copy the middle keyframe, put it on the third keyframe where the tritone one is, set it to zero, and then copy that zero keyframe and set the first keyframe on the tritone. So all the keyframes are in the same place. Set the frequency to five, turn off the motion blur, set the amplitude to 0.7, turn the X shake to 20, turn the Y shake to 180, turn the Z shake to about 15, turn the tilt shake to about 1.5, and then graph your shake. Yeah, grab your shake so it matches mine. All right, and then you want to add BCC defog, set this to zero, keyframe it, go to the middle, set it to 50, and then copy the first keyframe and move it to the same place as the third shake keyframe, and then graph it so it's a little bit smooth, graph it like that. And once you have this, I'm going to add a exposure, a keyframe the gamma correction, set it to 40. And then with the next, and then copy the first keyframe and put it in the third spot and graph it and graph it around the same as your default. So now you have to add another adjustment layer, add time bend, set the frame count to four, curve smoothness to 16, all curve phase to 59, and then set time remapping curve to sine wave. And then cut your adjustment layer to around five frames before and after. And after you have that, you want to add split blur onto the same adjustment layer as you have your time bend. Set the blur level to 11, split count to 16, and then keyframe the blur level, put the 11 in the middle and set a zero to each side and then move your split blur above your time bend then you want to move your time bend adjustment layer and you want to move your time bend adjustment layer below your defog and exposure and then after you do this you want to go duplicate the time bend add a new adjustment layer on top and add posterize set it to four and then keyframe the level put it into the middle set it to 30 move it about 10 frames to the left cut your adjustment then do the same thing but move it 10 frames after and then cut your adjustment layer again right at the end and you should have the color transition, just like that.